what is going on pom pom gang welcome back to the pom pom sisters youtube channel and we are here with my husband christian on our tutorial tuesday hair tutorial for the day he has decided to come and join the curly crew with me and the girls and he is getting a perm his very first perm my very first perm because i've never done a perm before so this was definitely a great learning experience to get to see how a perm is processed and how to process it on uh, non curly hair so we are taking him from dull and straight to volume and curls honey yes he has decided to join the texture so we are going to uh, first start off by wetting all of his hair his hair has to be soaking wet in order to get the, his hair to stay on the perm rods and I decide to go with three rows for his perm rods we're gonna do one on the right side one going down the middle and then a row of perm rods going on his left side in order for him to get the lift that he wants. So he wants to keep the curls pretty much up top where his hair is long and then have the nice fade going on down at the bottom. Nice little cute cut. I, I thought this was going to look really good. So I was really excited and was glad that he was he was willing to allow me to do his very first perm because honey, I ain't know what I was doing. But not a problem. We took to YouTube, watched a couple of videos and I also read a couple of blogs on what products to use to achieve what looks so we decided that we wanted to give him more of a wavy kind of look more than a tight curls like Kalia so we wanted his curls to be more like Lonnie's than we did Kalia's and that's just like a nice loose wave so we decided to go with these white perm rods because they weren't too small and they weren't too big and then you have to go in with the end tissue paper which is that tissue paper you see me applying that's supposed to go onto the ends of the hair to help hold his hair to the perm rod now I will say the perm rod was the most difficult part of this entire process his hair is only but two inches long so it's really short and it was really difficult trying to keep his hair on the perm rod so his the perm rods just kept falling off they kept slipping they were coming to loose it was very frustrating so I was about five seconds to just throwing the whole head away I was just like you know what I'm, I'm done I can't do it but unfortunately I have an obsessive behavior and once I am obsessed with something it is just really hard for me to let it go so I took a break and decided to watch some more YouTube videos find a different method of going about getting his hair to stay on these perm rods and we came back and honey I think I got it so I found out that I needed to twist his hair into the end tissue paper before I was just applying it just wrapping it around his the end of his hair this time I realized I needed to kind of twist it since his hair is so short it kept slipping out of that end paper which was causing it to slip out of the perm rod so as you can see there I twisted the end of the end tissue and then I began to roll it around the perm rod to secure it to his hair and this is what helped hold those perm rods in there now some of them still kind of came loose I had to go back and redo them but for the most part this technique worked for me so I couldn't just place his hair in the in tissue paper I had to twist his hair into the in tissue paper so while his hair is placed into the in tissue I twist the in tissue to hold it in place and then wrap it around the roller I know that sounds like a lot I hope I did not confuse y'all but I'm going to go over it again one more time in close up with hopefully a better angle so you guys can see how exactly I achieved this Thank you. 
this is the perm that we decided to go with we went with the quantum extra body because we didn't want anything curly curly we just wanted something that was going to give him volume and to add that nice wavy look to it so the products inside you'll come with a waving lotion and an activator you take the activator and pour it into the waving lotion and then gently shake it up it's going to start warming up because of course it's activating those chemicals are going to now be activated and then you cut off the little nozzle tip and drench all of the perm rods with the waving lotion i tried to use the entire bottle although christian didn't need or require the entire bo bottle i just wanted to make sure that his hair was going to be drenched in this stuff like i said it was my first time doing it and i just wanted to make sure I, I i was very thorough so i pretty much emptied this entire bottle onto the crown of his head the little three rows of perm rods that we did make sure that you get in between the perm rods as well and just just soak that mess just make sure it is nice and soaked now it's stinks to high heaven so please open up a window make sure you are in a ventilated area we're going to cover it using a plastic wrap the quantum box that we purchased for the perm had a plastic wrap in there and he is going to sit for 20 minutes all right we're about to wash out about to wash out his perm and the sink. Oh, gross. Empty that out. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. So anyways, we're going in with the neutralizer. We have to rinse this out, then towel, blot it dry, and then uh, leave this in for five minutes. Rinse it again while taking the rollers out, and then uh, put some more of this in there. Walmart. Leave it in for one, wa one minute, and then rinse it out and he cannot wash his hair for 48 hours for at least 48 hours which is very difficult for him because he's such a prima donna he washes his hair twice a day so hopefully this came out like decent <laughs> I didn't realize that we didn't record how we styled his hair once the perm rods were taken out and we uh, put in the neutralizer. So this is probably about two weeks after his perm. His hair is dry. Um, for us to style it, we go in with a spray bottle or he usually comes straight out the shower from washing his hair. He goes straight into solid and I go in with a foam. I go in with the Suave Max Hole foam just take a handful of the foam and I rake it through his hair I then go in with a wide tooth comb and also rake it through just to make sure it's nice and distribute throughout all of his curls and then we will usually allow it to air dry but for the sake of the video I just went ahead and diffused it real quick on cool air which took maybe 10 minutes at the most not even for this entire style not it didn't take an entire 10 minutes to do this and he's pretty much done that's it so he likes the messy curl look like the rolled out of bed kind of look when it comes to his curl so styling his hair is fairly easy he plans on growing it out some more so i guess we'll try to keep y'all updated on his progress and i'm not sure if we'll have to uh, Reperm his hair as it grows out, but we'll find out. Leaning back all over my chair. I'm ready to put your head down. Let me want to see your stupid face. Put your head oh, down. You said down. Down. Put your head down. Oh, Thank that. you. <laughs> you edited that part out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't scratch the bitch. All right, so this is his end results. His hair is done. This is how he will be styling his hair from now on. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, if you love seeing Christian's very first hair tutorial. And I am just so proud of myself. Like, I, I swear I could do anything. I really can. But thank you guys for joining us. Be safe and be blessed. Bye.